Hi, I'm Lauren Spreiser. I'm going to show you some exercises that I do to help teach big moving horses, like my six-year-old Dutch gelding, Eddie, how to compress their bodies without having to use my body. So now that Eddie here is warmed up a little bit, I want to revisit this schooling trot exercise that I briefly spoke about in my warm-up. Um, this is a big, rangy horse, but he also is capable of being very strong. Oh, son. And what he likes to do is he likes to sort of grab with this part of his neck and kind of, kind of bear down through his under neck and his chest and be rigid there and then let the rest of his back kind of swing along so that he can pull himself along with his front legs instead of having to really lift up through his abdominal muscles, his low back, and through his top line to lift his limbs up rather than just kind of bear down and throw them out in front of him. Um, he's also a horse that before me, I think he was allowed to be quite strong in the neck. And I'm a big, strong lady, but as I mentioned, I'm also really lazy. And so what I wanna do is I want to, hi, show this horse that he's capable of using his top line and being very light in my hand instead of dragging me around like farm equipment. So this is pretty nice, actually, good boy. It's working. But what I'm gonna ask him to do next is I'm gonna ask him to make the trot a little smaller. This is not what I would call more collected. It's not like he's bearing more weight on his haunches, but I'm just sort of turning the power down and then back up again. And my goal is that his neck doesn't change, that he doesn't, when I ride him forward, just go Wah, and sort of catapult himself forward with his, with his chest and his under neck. Good boy. I want him to have to engage his hind legs. Yeah, it's okay. Not like that. And lift his back up. I will use my stick a little bit. You'll notice I'm touching him right on the top of his bum to say, hey, keep this part active without increasing the miles an hour of your trot. Good boy. And lots of little uber strikens. Even when they don't work, there I gave and he immediately fell apart. No problem. I'm going to put him back into that nice round outline, make him nice and small, come with my stick a little bit when he gets a little confused and tries to walk. Now I'm going to send him forward. Ah, a boy. And there his contact didn't change at all. Now I can give. And he stayed a lot better where I put him. Do that again. I'm thinking about posting a little smaller. I'm not standing up quite as tall. My belly is tight. My back is tight. 